Hurricane Milton has explosively intensified into a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane. Hey everybody, Mike Naso here with the latest on this very dangerous hurricane. Boy, I gotta tell you, if you saw the video update I did at 5 a.m. in the morning, this was a 100 mile per hour Category 2 hurricane. It has absolutely exploded throughout the Monday morning and early afternoon and is now a catastrophic Category 5 hurricane with winds within that tiny little eye of 175 miles per hour. Notice it there in the Gulf of Mexico. It is a very small storm. Hurricane force winds only extend out about 30 miles from that center, but where they are, oh man, some of the strongest winds we've ever seen in the Gulf of Mexico with any hurricane ever, certainly in the month of October. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center as of 1 p.m. Central Time. Milton explosively intensifies with 175 mile per hour winds. Residents in Florida are urged to follow the advice of local officials. Hurricane Milton as of 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Eastern is at 21.7 north, 91.3 west. That's about 105 miles west-northwest of Progreso, Mexico on the Yucatan Peninsula. And that's about 700 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida. Maximum sustained winds 175 miles per hour with higher gusts. There could be gusts in this hurricane right now over 200 miles per hour. It is moving east at 9 miles per hour. 911 millibars is the barometric pressure. That is very, very low. How low? Well, here is a list of the most intense hurricanes on record in the Atlantic Basin. By barometric pressure, obviously Hurricane Wilma of 2005 was number one, but Milton is now on the bottom of that list and headed up 911 millibars. The last time we had a hurricane this strong in the Gulf of Mexico was 2005 with Hurricane Rita this late in the year, and that was uh, in late September. So we've never had one this late in the year in the Gulf of Mexico. But if you look, it is now in the upper echelon of intense hurricanes. Dorian, Ivan, Maria, Mitch, Katrina, Camille. I mean, you're in uh, really high hurricane company with Hurricane Milton right now. The forecast track has it moving very, very close to the Yucatan Peninsula. We have hurricane warnings out. It looks like hurricane winds, or at least definitely tropical storm force winds, could clip the Yucatan. By tomorrow morning and afternoon, it should be gliding east-northeast and then eventually northeast, making landfall on Wednesday along the Florida west coast. And still be a hurricane cutting across the state. We have a hurricane watch in effect from Chokoloski all the way to the mouth of the Suwannee River. That includes Lake Okeechobee, the Dry Tortugas, and downtown Tampa Bay. Okay, so you guys in Tampa Bay are under a hurricane watch. This is very likely to become a hurricane warning later tonight on Monday night or early Tuesday. Speaking of Tampa Bay, there you go. Evacuations in full swing, mass evacuations. Uh, the uh, governor has said everything is being brought to bear to try and get ahead of this hurricane because the water impacts on the west coast of Florida are expected to be very, very severe. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this beast. Boy, you do not see this very often. Look at how symmetric this hurricane is, perfectly circular and tiny. And what did I say on the video update on Sunday? Tiny hurricanes are very susceptible to rapid changes up and down in intensity, and that is what has happened with Hurricane Milton. Look at that eye. Right in here is where you have those winds of 175 miles per hour. I hope it's peaked out. It can't go much higher. There is such a thing for hurricanes as a maximum potential intensity, and Milton is probably not far off from that. Look at that symmetry of the uh, central dense overcast, the CDO, and then you have the well-defined eye in the middle, very symmetric, spinning there. Notice these little outflow streaks here as the system ven ventilates itself. It vents itself in a uh, very, very favorable way. And there's the north coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. The hurricane just barreling straight east right now. If it continues that, it is just going to miss. But you guys are going to get clipped for sure by tropical storm force winds. How strong is this hurricane? Look at this vortex message from one of the recon aircraft. This uh, 912 millibar pressure they found. A closed eye, circular and 8 miles. Look at 177 knots. 
They found a max flight level wind on their uh, outbound leg there of 158 knots, well into the Category 5 range. And look what they said. Occasional severe turbulence in the northwest and northeast eye wall. They observed flocks of birds within the eye. So this is one heck of a hurricane with birds trying to find the calm eye to uh, survive. Phil Klotzbach from Colorado State University says... Milton now joins Michael of 2018, hit Mexico Beach as a Category 5 hurricane, as the only October Category 5 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico that we know of in the satellite era, 1966 and on. So in the last, what is that, 68 years or so? 58 years, not 68. In the last 58 years, we've only had two hurricanes of this intensity, Category 5 in the Gulf of Mexico, this late in October, Michael and Milton. And Michael's name was retired in 2018. And when we use the list six years later, the name is Milton. So that's kind of a little trivia there for you. And uh, Phil Klosbach also states that Milton's maximum winds of 175 are the strongest for a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico this late in the year on record. Uh, Hurricane Rita's winds September 22, 2005 were the previous record. So 175 mile an hour hurricane, very dangerous. This is uh, compared to Hurricane Wilma. This blue line here was Hurricane Wilma's intensification back in 2005. Hurricane Milton sure was giving Wilma a run for her money as a very quick, rapid strengthening hurricane. Look at that pressure falls. This is just insane. I, I mean, the way this system went from a tropical storm, Category 1 hurricane, Category 2, and then just plummeted down into Category 5 is very, very impressive. Now, the motion should begin to accelerate towards the east. You can already see that on this water vapor image. There's our violent Milton, and there's the flow here in the northern Gulf of Mexico, and this flow is going to get caught up in as that troughiness moves down off the Gulf Coast, should pick Milton up and drag him to the east-northeast. Now, the good news is, if there is good news right now, because Milton is so small, and because it's already getting close to peaking out, I hope so, as a Category 5, we could probably almost bet that it's going to weaken prior to landfall. If it's only Monday afternoon and landfall is on Wednesday evening, this has a long time to go to fluctuate in intensity. The bad news is the stronger it is over water, the more water it can pile up. Now, right now, it's a high-end Category 5. There's no Category 6, so we are off the charts beyond catastrophic wind damage. By the time it makes landfall, we could see the winds weaken, but still be devastating. And remember, if the winds weaken, the wind field of the storm, the size of the hurricane, will likely expand, and that could exacerbate this, the storm surge threat. Now, this is as of the uh, 11 a.m. track. We'll see this update later on throughout the night. But as they have it coming in as a major hurricane, right now they have it coming in very, very close to Tampa, St. Petersburg. Look at the potential for storm surge. You're talking 10 feet or more of water rises here. All the Longboat Key, Bradenton, Anna Marie Island, St. Petersburg Beach, Treasure Island. All of these areas within Tampa Bay would get slaughtered with an onslaught of storm surge. And look at especially just south of the eye where you have the onshore flow, Longboat Key, Siesta Key, Sarasota. You guys could really be in for it. So like I mentioned, if you are in an evacuation zone, if you're told to evacuate, please do so. This is a very, very serious storm. Again, a very dangerous Category 5 hurricane. I keep looking at all these different satellites. Look at that beautiful, beautiful eye. You don't get much more organized than that. On track towards the coast of Florida in 48 hours before then, the Yucatan Peninsula, you guys are going to have to deal with it. I'm Mike Naso with this 2 p.m. bulletin update on a remarkable Category 5 hurricane, Hurricane Milton. I'll be back with frequent coverage as this dangerous hurricane spins in the Gulf of Mexico.